After spending four weeks in Kaneohe sailing the Venture 17 up and down the bay and building a recovery apparatus on the dock at Malukai, it was back to Napa and the boatyard for finishing the cockpit. Sanding, sanding, painting, sanding, sanding, painting, and sanding, and sanding, and painting, and sanding, and sanding, and painting, sanding, sanding, painting, grinding, grinding, painting, and painting. When that was done, I needed to fix some big blisters that had developed in the rudder. They were just on the sunny side of the rudder where the afternoon sun hit it pretty hard and it had actually caused the fiberglass to bubble up away from the foam core of the rudder. There were several of these very large blisters across the whole uh, port side of the rudder. Wow, cueva has been out in pasture way too long. She looks like the inverse of the Holsteins. I cut out some paper templates and then five layers of X mat for each puka. I guess this one got some fiberglass spicules in the ear just like me. Then I put a layer of X mat over the whole rudder. Only two more things left to do. The entire bottom, the epoxy barrier coat, needed to be sanded down so that the bottom paint would bond to it well. And it was also pretty rough with all the roller stipple in it. it needed to be made a bit smoother. It took 35 straight hours of sanding to get that done. And then, wow, starting to get exciting, masking off for the last part, the bottom paint. Then, very suddenly, splash time. That's somebody else's sander. Thank you. 
and everything will go okay. The only thing, the engine's probably going to start okay. It's just the shift throttle that I'm not sure about. I think it's, I think it's operational. It's just backwards. So it'll be kind of like patting the head and rubbing the tummy while I'm trying to maneuver over there. But yeah. I've had that happen. <laughs> Uh, check out those cables absorbing all the vibration. Crack delivery crew, Rory Pierce and his dad, Bob. sailed so efficiently with the new feathering propeller that we covered 29 miles in four hours. <laughs> <laughs> 